with Harper, of course. Hey. <clears throat> and we, of course, are going to be doing something a little different today. Oops. We went to actually a Korean uh, place or a Korean shop near where I live, and they sell Pokemon cards from Korea. So we're going to check so these, these guys are, out. These are going to be all written in Korean versus Japanese or English. So it'll be a, a new language to add to our Pokemon collection. I have the cards. cards in Dutch, German, and French. I got a few different ones. I know I have Japanese. I got a ton. Besides of Japanese. Japanese, of course. My my Japanese ones came from I'm, Japan. I'm gonna open up the lighter one first. I'm opening up the uh, the one from Sun and Moon first. Uh, it's Sun and Moon. I see a Pachirisu right off the bat. Oh wow. A uh, pincer. Wow, the art style is so different. So we of course got her. Ooh. I got myself a little pachirisu. They look and feel authentic. They do. That would be a um, pincer. Energy card, water energy. Their slugma looks kind of weird though. Different, very different. I got, I got a couple of them. I got an evolution. I got a, uh, that's from the, the sun and moon region, but I have no, or the Alola region. I have no idea what the hell it is, so. Let me see. What her name is, or oh, I know which one it is. I because think we it. didn't. So I got these guys. Got a shuckle. Shuckle, of course, shuckle. Bear tick. Nice. And then one of the uh... shinies. Hollows. A hollow. Nice. Uh, I don't know what the hell this one is. If you guys can tell, let me know later down in the comments below. I've got. I know this one starts with a T. I just can't remember the name. Uh, to ah, fudge. Togede or something like that. It's, yeah. it's just, basically, it's a sparking uh, hedgehog. Or... Oh! Uh... <laughs> I should know this one. And I got the evolution of this guy. Oh, nice. And these are pretty authentic. They don't feel fake. They don't fake. feel fake. They feel like the real deal, so... They look like the real deal. 100% looks... I mean, the way they did the uh, the hollow yeah. is about right. Yeah. I'm opening up another pack. I'm next going for the one with Lugia on it. I got whatever the Sun and Moon Pokemon is. So, let's see what we got here. One of the Guardian Spirits, I think that's what it is. Come on. I'm trying not to damage my cards here as I'm trying to open this sucker up. <laughs> Me too, I know. All right, I forgot I could do this. Ooh, nice. I got a Quilava. <laughs> Look at this one. Oh, Salazel. Nice. Ooh, <laughs> beat that. Cute. Oh, she has a little form Vulpix. <laughs> I got a Quilava. A Picky Peck. I got Trevish. A uh, Snubble. Nice. So you guys can see. I can just. I got Lady in. A uh, double energy I card and a Grand Bull. I got a trading card. The trainer card? Yep. A double I. I'm getting double energy, so. Oh, uh, we're I not gonna a... do a very long stream with this, because we're just kinda checking these cards out. They don't feel like they're fake at all. I got another evolution card, completely hollow. Nice. No, that that's uh Salazel. Uh the one before was this pre it was the pre previous form. Yeah. They evolved from the other one. Yep. Okay. So Lazel likes a reverse harem. Yes. Last one. Humans. Weird Pokemon. Yeah, what you gonna do? Oh, that's an adorable horsey. Oh, that is. So I got horsey, Charmander, Alola form, uh, Grimer. Nice. Uh, Rotom Dex, it looks like. And... Malamar, but no, uh, I got no Inkay, so. Diglett. Oh, the ones that came in that last pack for me. Lit Leo. Wormpole. Blitzel. Blitzel. And. <laughs> oh, hell! She got a Dialga! <laughs> Sweetness. 
Yeah, not a bad haul for. Not bad. I mean, they're only a dollar fifty per pack, and you didn't get a lot of. No, you didn't get much many cards out of it. But as Pokemon card collectors, these are actually not bad. It's pretty nice set. I can't read a word because they're in Korean. But, but still, it's it's pretty cool. Agreed. Uh, Mark might be able to. Well, maybe Jack could be able to read it better than Mark could. Yeah, his brother. Yeah. No, I'm talking about Jack. Jack Septicai. Why? His girlfriend is Korean. Oh, I forgot that. So he knows more Korean than Mark does. Well, which is still, funny. Mark will probably know at least a couple things. He has read. read this is technically a legendary or a guardian spirit, so. But I do like. I my... didn't do too bad with the with that, but she got she got herself a Lola form Vulpix and a freaking Dialga. A shiny or hollow Dialga. Yeah, not shiny yet. But in... Yeah, a trainer card too. But I can't. I don't even know. The only what. trainer card I got was the Rotom decks. No, I got two trainer cards. Nice. I got. Got two energies. And I got two energies as well. Well, technically. I got an energy and a double energy. Whoops. Malamar is one of the Me and my accent prone self. Malamar, one of the only evil Pokemon in existence. That was a weird episode. He, like, tr straight up is evil. I mean, look at this freaking face. It's so creepy. It's creepy as hell. He looks like he's high, too. Actually, I only have one trainer. I have two energies, though. Look at, look at him. He looks high. A wee bit. <laughs> His eyes are squinted like... <laughs> but he is a very evil-esque Pokemon. Yeah, for Pokemon, which... Pokemon aren't supposed to be evil or good. It's all depends on the trainer. Not too bad for a haul of this. Yeah, not bad. So for I'm going to stash this over here. For a buck fifty, we did pretty good with our haul. For a buck fifty a piece per pack, that that wasn't bad. That was worth it. We might get a couple packs later on the road. We might. Um, plus, the fact that they're a different language is kind of cool. Yeah, we don't get that very often. No, we occasionally like my very rare Misty's Tears, uh, or te Japanese Tears, cards Japanese the card that, we get. that is banned stateside. They cannot sell it, and that's in, with that artwork. Yeah. Because she's naked. Because she is completely nude. But it's more of a silhouette of her. You can't really see too much. No. But again, Misty and being naked, so. My Dialga. Can't read a lick of it. No. And we also got something else. I also grabbed something else in another location. Because there's a place next door to it called Daiso, which is a uh, Japanese stuff. No Pokemon cards there, sadly. I just grabbed something because I'm a dork and decided to grab a couple fans. A blue and a red fan for us. Red versus blue. Red and, red and blue, of course. Of course, we'll get some other cards soon. We're probably going to get some uh, packs for Detective Pikachu and do an opening of those as well. We'll do that probably after we get back from a little vacation. We're going on a trip, so we might live stream from on the road. I haven't decided yet. Yeah, I, I gotta, I'm driving, so... I gotta free up some space, and well, I gotta free up some space. My phone can only hold so much, and I didn't get the best. Why, why are you being weird? I don't know. It, it don't want to open properly. <laughs> but, uh, we are looking forward to De Detective Pikachu. We are. It, from oh. preliminary. Just from our, our, what we've seen. That looks pretty good. Oh. What, did you break it? It break it. You broke it. I didn't mean to! It just broke. You broke it, huh? You haven't even used it. I can't use it. The damn thing doesn't come undone. <laughs> Should we try the red? This is what we need tape tape for. Yes, when your tape bre breaks, get tape tape. And if your tape tape breaks, get tape 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 tape. Tape tape tape. Tape tape. <laughs> We're planning to do a skit with that. Oh, picture. yeah, sure. That one comes out just fine. <laughs> of course. The blue is being a little dick. Oh, well, it's blue, right? <laughs> mm, nice. We could have used this at Scarborough one year. Yeah, we could have. Next, oh, this, well, are we going this year? I plan, I'm hoping to. Uh, I only never need to buy one of my little Peter Dragons, and that's it. True, but with something fun to... It's still fun to go. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to dress up that. I will. I will probably dress up. I am. Oh, now you work. 
<laughs> of course. It's that is about what Scarborough right Fair is. Uh, Renaissance Festival, not too far from where our, I well, kind of far from where I live. It takes a bit of a drive to get there, especially through traffic. There, now it's working. Got it. Nice, yeah. We're big Dragon Ball fans. Yes, we are Dragon Ball fans. We got to see, uh... I took her to go see Dragon Ball Super Brawly. Weren't we the only ones in the theater? We were one of the few that were in the theater. There, yeah, there was, was I think there were one, one of the couple. But oh, we, I see what happened. What happened? It was put on there wrong. Oh, so it was a... It was a manufacturer, manufacturer error, error, not my error, that broke it. It was manufacturer screwed up. But yeah, we have uh, this one to watch. I never really saw any of the Dragon Ball Z or Dragon Ball movies. She got as far, we got as far as, what was it? Um, season one of Dragon Ball. We were in season one of Dragon Ball, so. It's not because we don't want to watch it all. It's, it's just, just so damn long. They need Dragon Ball, Ball abridged. They do. They have it. You didn't know that? Yeah, they do. I know they do. We need to watch it, though. And it's supposedly hilarious. Yep. Especially the episode about the uh, space duck. Space duck? I'm just listening to the space. Look, I'm just admiring the space duck. You mean what? Howard the duck? No, he's literally calling it a space duck. We'll have to, I'll have to show her that episode later. Uh, uh, I know, all the only space duck I know is Howard the duck. And well, actually, no, there's another one, Daffy duck. Duck Dodgers of the, what, 21st century? Yes. 23rd 20, century? 20 for, 22nd and one half century. Okay, that's what it was. That was exactly what it Let's see, let's go to. But we also gotta organize our Pokemon cards soon, because I have way, way, way too many. I have three, three inch binders worth of Pokemon cards, and I honestly have more cards stashed everywhere. I don't know what to do with them. I don't even play. Oh, I forgot. The, this is a fan-made abridged. Oh, it is. The fan-made abridged are hilarious. That's the whole point of, of Dragon Ball abridged on YouTube. It's all oh, fan-made. Yeah. What's his name? Uh, oh, wait. I forgot his name. Remember, we, uh, Masako X does the voice of uh, Goku. Wow, he actually does sound like Frieza. Okay, <laughs> this is pretty funny. There's more to it, but I can't... In good con, I, that was about as much as I could probably squeak in without getting them mad, somebody mad at me, but I don't think those guys really care. Hi, um, but just in case, since it's already been taken care of and somebody else already posted that, if you guys do, just... We'll figure out how to do a link later in the description below, but... If you guys want to watch that clip, just <laughs> type in, as of right now, type in Dragon Ball Abridged Space, Space Duck. Duck. And it's the first one that'll pop up, and it is the very episode. If you've never watched Dragon Ball Z and do not know anything about this Frieza saga, you'll be lost. <laughs> I know a bit. Enough to get by. Well, we do. Yeah, we, we do. We're, but... we're just saying that we don't have the link yet. We'll have to figure out how to do that later. Uh, we will try to get the link down in the description below. Um, as of right now, we didn't think we were actually going to do that before the stream began. So. Yeah, he, I was just making a joke. I was make, And I was making a joke off of it, so... <laughs> but we'll have to show off our, all our Pokemon cards soon. Uh, yeah, we will eventually. I, we I've, both have a couple binders worth. Me more, because I haven't stopped collecting Not, most since of I was what, a kid. Most of the rest of mine are loose now. I've got to get a new binder. We have... What? Well, we got a binder, what? and we got all those uh, card holders, remember? Yeah, we yeah we did. But the thing is, organizing Pokemon cards is not exactly easy. Uh, come here. 
cat takes time. This is my cat, Simba. Big orange fluff ball. Oh, he's scratching one of his favorite spots. Cra scratching every cat's favorite spot. Oh, not every. Pretty much. Every cat I've ever owned and been around loves being scratched right there. True, I mean all the kittens and cats we volunteer with. Mm -hmm. I volunteer Thursdays with our cat rescue. We didn't, I wasn't able to go yesterday because of work, but we swung by and saw all the new kittens that they have. Five mm -hmm. new kittens they do. plus one older cat, well, a year, a year lane. Mm -hmm. And then the other cat that was there is getting adopted. Right. He's such a snuggle bug. Yeah, he is. And the other, the other orange cat, which is a little bit has shorter hair than he does, has has a ruptured eardrum. You made him jump. Oh, I'm sorry, hun. It's not bad. I mean, the cat will get better. Just it's uh, gonna take time to heal. So. And his head keeps tilting. Yeah, it's kind of funny though. He'll be like sitting like this. But it's not. Well, it's not funny or sad. But I. It's just kind of. I have had it. It's funny eardrum. in a odd way, not a ha ha laugh your butt off way. It's just kind of. You know, it doesn't seem... It doesn't... It looks like it's cute because he's tilting his head. Yeah, beyond that, though, he's... Ow, <laughs> ow, ow, claw. <laughs> you know he needs. No, he just put his paw up there and the claw was already out and right into my knee. <laughs> he, Simba. He does that. Why do you think I'm always covered in scratches? Yes, sir. Don't you dare. He already did. I, I, quit it. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is my knee, mister. <laughs> That is not a, cl a scratching post. I kick ya! <laughs> Stop it! Please! I don't mind having you on my lap, but just don't, don't scratch my knee. Doesn't help that these are uh, thin pants. They're very comfortable, though. That's fine. He's fine. He's fine. Here. Here he was fine where he was. There we go. Because I'm the mama, I can hold him like this. Yeah. As I am not the mama. Not the mama. Oh, hey. Hi there. But yeah, we finished the unboxing, but... Oh, why don't you show them the Eevee that you got? Oh, yes, yeah, so it's behind me. <laughs> you guys can have been able to see it in the background. Yeah, you got this awesome plush Eevee there. It is so adorable. It is, because it is sleeping. It's a little sleeping Eevee, and it actually fits on my shoulder rather well. So if I wanted to go as a trainer with the hat, an Eevee trainer... I could somehow pin it up here and have it sit here the entire time I'm at a con. Or even if I went to uh, the Scarborough like this, we could do a time... Yeah, time travel. Ta we, already hit, we already missed time traveler weekend. That's the first weekend and the Scarborough every... is open. Every year. They don't ever change it. They always have them on the same days. Because the first time we went was the Legends of the Sea. Yes. The second time we went was Legends of the Sea because we went the same weekend. Just by coincidence. Just by coincidence as to how it worked out. And for us, uh, the funny thing is that we found out that what I was wearing, I thought it was just a, a knight's uniform but tur or knight's clothing. Turned out, I was actually wearing Viking clothing, which and are Legends of the Sea. Which goes quite well. It does. But we are going to... Although it was raining all day that oh, day. Oh, yeah, we got soaked. We... It didn't stop raining until right before we left. Yeah, mo everything pretty much got canceled. It was still fun to go, but it, it was, it was just still so fun. Wet. But that was more of a day to go check the shops. Yeah, and he broke his umbrella. Yeah, when I first got there, it just somehow, some way, and they are surprised. They were gonna give me a, a new one for half price. Well, they gave it to me for half price. They were just gonna give it to me. His name's Simba. Yeah. He's about let's see, he's twelve years old, so he's older, but he's still a fluffy little kitten at mm -hmm. heart. Some cats never grow up. Yeah, he doesn't. And he'll let me rub his tummy. He'll sit like this for hours. He's a very cuddly kitty. If he was not so skittish, if he wasn't so skittish with other people, he'd be a good uh, therapy cat. Yes, he would. Because he doesn't really claw much. Unless he's kneading your knee. Yeah, but... That's because he likes me so. And he is very gentle. He doesn't bite, he doesn't really hiss. Doesn't really jump on counters or anything either. Nope, he doesn't like jumping. He's never liked jumping. He'll hop. Yeah, he'll hop up, but he only jumps when he really, really wants to. Mm -hmm. He doesn't have arthritis. so He don't... doesn't like to. No, he just doesn't like to. Ever since he was a kitten, he doesn't like to jump. He'll purposely jump down and then jump up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Evie is cute. Evie is an adorable little thing. 
And it's, it's balanced perfectly on my shoulder right now, so. I wasn't able to get one, but probably when we go back and pick up Hopefully more. when they, because there was only one. There was only one sleeping Eevee there. So hopefully when we go back, they have another one. They if, had a sleeping Charmander. I, did, I almost thought about getting it. It was too small. Yeah. This is about the right size for an Eevee. About a normal, uh, average sized Eevee. Uh, Maybe slightly on the small side. Yeah, roughly average on the smaller side. Um, if you guys play Pokemon Let's Go, Eevee, you can see how big the Eevee is compared to the kid, the 10 year old who has it. It's about the right size after being an adult. <laughs> 20 years later, um, growing up, and the Eevee is still kind of small. Kind of small. But yeah. I'll probably, if we go back, we might head, head that way up Monday or Tuesday. Mm -hmm. We have a nice long weekend. Yes, we do. We, we are going out of town, but we will probably yep. do a stream on the road if I can get my... Uh... Which, if you guys watched last night's live, my last stream, or the last video I did uh, last night, it was reason I did Horizon Zero Dawn a day or a couple days early. Would you rather... Ooh, that's a good question. Oh. Hmm. Well, it depends on the Pokemon, because not all Pokemon are something you'd want to deal with. Eevee would be fine. A couple other... A, a, f a select number of Pokemon, sure. But End All Wars would be nice, but the only way to end all wars is everybody's got to be dead. Yeah, That's, that's really the only fine. way. Sadly, it's the only way, because you're always going to have people that hate each other. Fight, in fight. Fight, fighting, everything. It can't be helped. It can't be stopped. It's human nature, unfortunately. Sadly. But, uh, hey, we get pretty realistic looking Pokemon when it comes to the new uh, po uh, Pokemon movie. Mm hmm. They did a, they did a very, I think they did a very good job. Have you seen the trailer for the CGI version? No, you sent me the link. I never watched it, but I it's don't want It's basically they're remaking the first movie. That's all it is. They are remaking the first movie with CGI. And guess what? Your eyes look so hollow. True. Yeah, you could have a team of Charizards, but the possibility of the entire the opposing enemy ha knowing their type advantages. But look at the it theories actually, and hints of the Pokemon roars. That well, actually, if you include Poke uh, Pokemon Lucario and the Mystery of Mew, P Pokemon Wars did happen. You actually had Pokemon in armor. Yeah. Or what about the war that uh, Lieutenant Surge? Yeah. Fought him with yeah, his Pokemon. Yeah, he was in a war with his Pokemon, so. So it's not like it. Pokemon, it's not like it's not a, a thing in the Pokemon universe. It's not like Game universe. Freak hasn't skated around it. It's been theorized and even just shown a bit. I got one former coworker, our buddy Beardy. He's allergic to bees. He would be freaking out so bad in the Pokemon universe. What if a Beedrill or Combee and a? Any bee type Pokemon, he would be losing his mind. And again, I'd probably be losing my mind with the Spinarak, Ariados, Joltik, and Well, if they, were more if they look the way they do in the show and on the co original cards, it's not so bad. If they look more realistic, right. even I'd be afraid of those little buggers. Right. I, I'm not afraid of bugs. I actually like bugs. I like messing with well, them. Well, they really haven't shown me any bug-type Pokemon in Detective Pikachu. Think of it. You hadn't really seen any. I thought I saw Butter Butterfree or so in the trailer, but you haven't really seen any bug-types. Mm, I didn't even see a Scyther, either. Hmm. We might have to watch the trailer for that. We might, we might. Of course, they could be out there in, like, the field or something as he's passing by just a random bug, pe bug type flag. Probably. And then there's, uh, but the CGI new one? Yeah. It doesn't look right. It's because they're not putting the emotion into the eyes that you could get from the drawn version, whereas... CGI is CG... Just... Thank you. Thank you. Uh, CG can be a little tricky sometimes. It comes out May 10th for us. Mm -hmm. It might be released later. Depending upon where you are yeah. in the world, it may det Pre can determine when the release will be. I know they already have like early screenings for some stuff. Mm -hmm. but And early signs have been showing that it's looking really good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you do. Quite literally. Yep. You lose everything. It's a, what, a three foot tall bug? Ooh, that's about half my height. That is literally half my height. It's more than half hers. Yeah. I'm six foot tall, y'all, so. I'm only five foot. You're looking at a bug half my size? I would be carrying a shotgun everywhere. Well, 
Because there is no... Or I'd have this little guy on my shoulder all the time. Yeah. Or a girl, depending on which gender I got. I wouldn't care either way. I love Evie, no matter what gender, is really awesome. Yep. Also, how many times... You would have to be really, really hardy to survive in that world when you think about it. How many times did Ash get burnt to a crisp or anybody get burnt to a crisp and survive? Or electrocuted. Electrocuted, burnt to a crisp. Framed oh. like with, wa with a water cannon. And I mean cannon. Like the kind that used to knock people off their t off their feet back. Uh, even more powerful than that, because oh, evolution favorites. Ah. Oh, <laughs> Espeon. Umbreon. I do like Sylveon though. I will I be do. honest. I do like Sylveon. I do have a soft spot for Vaporeon. She was my first favorite ev evolution. I actually didn't. Um, I didn't have a favorite one originally. It wasn't until Umbreon came out that I really had a favorite for the Eeveelutions. I'm looking forward to see if Short Sword and Shield actually add another... One or two e new Eeveelutions. Three least, would be preferable to even one. it out. Ah, in the original version, in the original anime, or manga, they did. In fact, uh, now actually, no, I take that back. They didn't originally. Later on, it became something that did happen. They even mentioned the Pokedex that uh, Torchic, legs. Torchic legs were quite delicious. And Combuscan legs are even more so. But originally in the Pokemon universe, Pokemon were just another form of animal in our world. Yeah, so there were you still had cows, birds, you had cows. birds, bugs, other than the Pokemon. But it was Eventually, so it much... evolved into just being straight up Pokemon everywhere. Sorry, baby, I got So that my... does mean somebody be eating Pokemon somewhere. Yeah. And even Misty uh, in the first season, you can't eat a magic carp. He's all scale and bones. Quite that was an exact quote from that episode too. I remember that episode. The, Gar the Gyarados episode. Yep. When uh. Yes, yes, it does. Yep, that too. Yeah, I wouldn't want to eat a magic carp either. No. Especially not the possibility of it trying to uh, become a Gyarados while you're trying to <laughs> kill it. Or a Feebass. Well, Feebass, I, I, I wouldn't want to eat a Feebass because I know what it becomes as my low tick. Very pretty. Very pretty. That's all right. It's cool. But, uh... We haven't even really watched any of the newest series. We, we were, I refuse to watch Sun and Moon. And it's not because of the art style. I can get past that, no problem. The art style's fine. The story is eh. And the... They made Ash a royal idiot. I mean, he wasn't... He wasn't the brightest bulb in the room to begin with, but... <sighs> I mean, he always relied on his Pokedex for everything, even though it's Pokemon he actually knew already. That's the weird... That's the one that bugs me, is like... Okay, you've seen these Pokemon on TV. You should know at least a basic bit of information about each one. Or the ones that he had previously owned. Right. And yet he's still using the Pokedex. What's... Who's that Pokemon? Really? It's a Tauros! You have over 30! You have... A, all... Yeah, but sadly, we never got to see that episode of how he banned, caught those because it, it got was banned. The, it was because the big... That was the uh, Polygon. No, it wasn't the Porygon the episode. Porygon, that yeah. was the Hunter's... The hunt, the Safari Zone Ooh, yeah. episode, which involved guns. Oh, yeah, you're right. That was the one with guns. And that's why stateside they, they banned it. But they had other episodes with guns in them prior. They did. I mean... Wait, or the... wasn't Officer Jenny originally carrying a gun? Yeah. That's what I thought. Yeah. Yeah. We've been t discussing that one a lot. Mm -hmm. Pokemon 2000 is one of my favorites. It is. Uh, I actually did back because I was living in California at the time. My parents took me to the mall to go see it, and I actually was able to get a, all the promo cards as a result because there was enough of us there, and I was able to trade for the final card I needed. Nice. Because I had a double, and somebody else didn't have it, but they had the card I needed, and we were like, okay, cool, we'll trade. Uh, I also got the all of the promos from the first movie as well, which I gave her an ancient Mew card. Yep. Which I, but... it's mint condition, never been opened. Yeah, I haven't even... It's still tucked It's away still in its either. packaging. And those cards are... They're not really worth too much to some people, but to me, it was sentimental value, mostly. But he has a lot of rare cards, too, that... <laughs> they can't... They don't make them anymore. 
and they are r- really well, hard to find. Well, most of the cards they don't make anymore if the series runs its course. Mm-hmm. Kind of like baseball cards. Once they're done, they don't ever really yeah, reprint Yeah, they don't them. make... They, they may reprint the image, but it's not going to be the same. No. The In the case go of down. the rarest cards I own are the Tropical Island cards, as we've discussed before in previous videos. Which we'll show eventually. We will show you them eventually. Uh, we'll get to that event at some point. I just got to remember to bring the cards over. And we need to organize them, which will take a day or so. And it's going to take a while to do that. Because we have to go through them all. i got to mm-hmm. get a binder set up for what I'm going to be doing with my cards. Mm-hmm. And we'd love to get them appraised. We haven't found a Pokemon Pokemon appraiser here yet. Not so far. Because Pokemon card appraisers are apparently not hard to find. Right. They are. And the ones that are available that we've talked, seen and talked to only appraise a set if you're willing to sell it. Yeah, they, if you're not willing to sell it, they won't even give you a price option. They'll be like, oh, okay, well, I'm not going to do it. Yeah. It's like, like, well, I know it's hard work, but look, we'll pay you to appraise We have no it. problem paying you for your time to appra- to do the appraisal. We're not asking you to do it for free. We, we actually will... Hell, I'll, I'll shell out 50 bucks quick just get them to, to check through my cards and say, okay, these cards worth this. These or cards are worth about this much. Oh. Oh. <laughs> hmm. Well, my Misty's tier is very expensive. That's one hundred dollars. That's over. It's worth. And it's a very good condition one. And I got that from a blind pack from Movie Trading Company. Which has its hits and misses. Sometimes it does. they have a lot of good cards, mm-hmm. and sometimes they don't. You can actually find a lot of the foreign language cards there. You can. We did. Um, but another thing is that one of my personal favorites from my Japanese collection was back when they first released the Johto Pokemon. I have a holographic Lugia. In Japanese. In Japanese. And I originally had three. I gave one away to a friend of mine. I traded the other one to another friend for a holographic Japanese Blastoise. And I kept the third. I always keep at least one. Okay. You have two more. Mm. (sighs) Let's see. What other ones? For me, it'd be my Japanese Ninetales. Well, Brock's Nine Tails. Mm-hmm. That's a good one. It's if I ever repraising it, where I, it was a couple of years ago, it was around fifty bucks on eBay. Not much, but mm-hmm. still kind of nice. I've gotten several first edition cards in different languages, not really in English actually. I think the now speaking of first editions, I do have a holographic Charizard that I got back when it first came out. When the I got a huge box of booster packs about that long. And then it was a holographic Charizard. Yeah. Though it's not that expensive or that worth that much to other people, it's worth a lot to me because my parents took the time. And being a military brat, we didn't have, and my dad being enlisted, we didn't have a lot of money. But the fact my parents were willing to shell out that much money in order to make yeah. me happy with Pokemon cards that year was it meant something to me. That's why I have I don't get rid of my cards. I have kept those suckers from day one. I have all my cards the only time I ever um I'd have to look at it again if it's shadowless it's gonna be a lot more it's gonna be worth a lot more I know I just can't remember I have, I have to go back to in, into my binder and look at it well we can always swing by there on Monday and then we might we might, we might be that. able to do a small Pokemon card stream because we have a lot of cards yeah we do but we can't go through them all because we could probably show you the ones I have in my binder I can show you what got because I got a bunch of loose ones now um, I have a bunch of loose ones too. Picked up a couple MCT, M, MTC packs along mm-hmm. the way. There's a really good one up farther north, about 45 minutes. Mm-hmm. That we they have like. We'll we'll hit it every now. We've hit it only together one time. That place is big. They even have Kingdom Hearts keyblades hanging up. Oh yeah, <laughs> gotta love those keyblades. Oh yeah, I love my. Keyblades. I'm sure that we get more in with the third game being yeah, out. Yeah, they will probably get more more replicas. Um, and game DLC is supposed to be coming uh-huh. out soon, besides the Critical More mode. Or in-game world, supposedly. Mm-hmm. But, there's also... I think about other Pokemon stuff. I do have a couple of plushies, but I'll show them mm-hmm. off later. Yeah, I, I have a... I have, actually, my, back when I was younger, early teens, still a fan of Pokemon, always been a fan of Pokemon. One of my mom's co-workers got me this gigantic Pikachu plush. I still have it. Oh. Yeah, sorry. You're going to have to wait until the stream is over, or we rewind the stream, and you should be able to watch from there. I mean, we can show you what cards we have. Yeah, it's not, it's not really very many. 
Just a, uh... I can show you the best card I got, if I can get to it. Where are uh, you? My best one was this one. Oh, here's my other trainer card. Okay. That was my best one. I have no idea what it's called. It's from Sun and Moon. I have no clue. We don't play Sun and Moon much. And I've never played it. I don't watch it. Oh. I got quite a few. I mean, I got a nice little Quilava. And then I got a Palkia. No, no, not Palkia. Dialga. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I did get a Malamar, though. And he is looks high off his butt. I mean, you can barely see it in the image because of how crappy the camera can be. And this is my favorite one. Her Alola form Vulpix. <laughs> but we will be doing a Detective Pikachu unwrapping probably we, yes. Monday. Once we get once we come back, we're gonna probably stop at a GameStop or someplace and get ourselves a nice little uh, set. Another set. Maybe MTC2 pick up a blind pack because the their blind packs range in size. But they're always about ten bucks, so you'll get a good haul usually, and they're very good about doing having it being diverse. <laughs> so you'll get a pack full of yeah, you'll get some doubles. You'll get some doubles. You get some good cards. You get some bad cards, or you may find something very rare in there, like Misty's like Misty's tier. tier. That by far is one of the most as I said, that's the most expensive card I've I've got so far. I've gotten some second other gen. Than, other than those. Uh, Tropical Island cards because those are because I've never touched them. They're still in their original packaging. They're worth a lot. And it is the first you get to see Executor. It was, the first, it was the first in the packaging. You see the first ever Tall Neck Executor before before all the form came out. Nice. Oh, nice. Who I wish. I'm more of a. But we also, with our cards, we haven't actually played the game with them. Yeah, same here. I've never... I played a little bit, but it was more of just goofing around with people I knew and friends. We than... don't even know how to play or certain I did learn a long time ago uh, how it works, the basic mechanics of it, but since they've changed things, I don't know if any things have really changed since the original. And then a lot of the cards that we have that are older have been... Not exactly banned, but they aren't in con continued for competitive use. Yeah, you can't use them for competitive at all. So, all the cards that I've got, nope. Most of the cards I have, I've been keeping up because throughout the years it was either me collecting them for me or I have babysitting gigs where the kids love Pokemon. So I always pick up a package every once in a while just to keep my my, my deck or collection current. Right. Which is why I have three binders worth of Pokemon cards plus. Then, my, my binder's about yay thick. I have three binders. I gladly show them on Monday. That's not including my uh That my doesn't include cards. the energy cards or the trainer cards Energy either. cards are in a whole other container about this long, but it's just straight up energy cards. We do need to get them separated and into their own little slot. We do, eventually. For... I'm hoping to uh, get a binder set up so where I can just take it with me. The weird thing is I had left in my attic for years and forgot about them. I knew I had them, but I forgot they were up there, but um, surprisingly, they're not damaged. Yeah, I they aren't the... They're not sticking together, not sticking to the package, to the to the sleeves, or the, or the card holders at all. I was the one that brought them up, and... Nice! Interesting name. But, yeah, nice. The... I have some of the... most of the original Pokemon. I also have a lot of uh, first editions in different languages from the mm -hmm. original set. I have, I remember one day I was, you know, by a blind pack from Walleye World. Not the best place to get a blind pack. No. They are kind of cheap, and they will usually put all the newer decks together mm -hmm. into a pack, and not really give you anything good. I was there, picking up a blind pack, I had to get groceries, so I said, you know what, I haven't gotten a Pokemon card pack in a while, I'll pick me up a pack. I picked me up, it's like, okay, got home, <laughs> opened it up, there was a... Fossil Hypno in German that was first edition. Mm -hmm. I've also got. Um, I also have that. I also have got been able to get that uh, Hypno in first edition. Well, that is a first edition in English too. Mm -hmm. I have them in Dutch, German, and French, and now mm -hmm. Korean. Besides yep. Japanese. Japanese. English. I will show you all probably on Monday. And eventually, I'll bring my cards up for you guys just to see. At if least, not Monday, at or least Tuesday. some of them. Uh, I do have some really cool ones I got a hold of over the years. Um, more because I liked a Pokemon that was already in the set that I was guaranteed. Uh, Pokemon like the Latias I have. Like the Dex, the Battle Dex you can mm -hmm. get. 
which can teach you how to play, but we never got around to actually doing those. I still have, I think I still have the old disc. I don't know if it still works, uh, that teaches you how to play. Nice! I don't think it would probably work on any other computers today. Actually, it did. Nice! It used to work on one, uh, one of my laptops. Um, how old was that? That was back in... 2008? I don't know if it worked now. It, was, it wasn't my current laptop, it's the laptop I had before. It was my old Sony Vio. Nice! Um, I got that back yeah. in high school, I think, from my parents. As a, that was a way back. As a gift because you know, it was a hand. It was a pre-owned. It was missing a key, so it wasn't that big a deal. Easy fix. It was missing, I think, the semicolon. I rarely ever use that, so it didn't bother me. Yeah. Um. But uh, now I want to pose a question to you guys for, that are watching. Who's your favorite Pokemon? And if you don't, if the stream ends before you guys are done, please put them down below. Uh, Slowpoke can be a little odd. He can be. Um, it's the, the fact that his nervous system is so slow is weird. Um, and it gets bitten to evolve. Yeah, it's a weird process for evolution. And the mega evolution is. Really he basically weird. is. It finishes trying to eat him. Pretty much all only. I I can say Charizard's pretty good. Uh, Charizard's great. Ah. Uh. Oh, codes. Oh yeah, like most of the new Pokemon card sets come with codes. Oh for the yeah. Stuff. I don't actually have any of those right now. These guys came from a a Korean shop, so they didn't have any codes. Right. Shinier Quaza, per oh, excellent yeah. choice. Be really cool looking Pokemon. Now my favorite Pokemon. It's actually Lucario. He is one of my top. Uh, mainly because I just love the, the style of him. Plus, he looks kind of wolfish, and I love wolves. Yeah, mine. Ooh, that's gonna be a hard one. Hmm. I always kind of favored uh, Eevee, but Vulpix is probably up there. Vulpix probably, because I loved. We do have Pokemon. Uh... We do have a Pokemon, what was it? Oh, shoot. Let's go right now. I have we eaten. are pre-ordering Sword and Shield, so we will be playing that on the Switch when it comes out. Hopefully we can stream it at some point. He has, uh, he's getting Sword, I'm mm -hmm. getting Shield. So we're basically going to guarantee that because we are interacting all the time, we're together at least once a week, we can trade uh, version-specific Pokemon. We Garchomp. That's not bad. Shiny no. Eevee is beautiful. I love the little shiny Eevee. Yeah, I do. I, it took a while for it to grow on me because I've seen plushes where it doesn't look quite right. The color is a little more yellow than it, than it is white. It's supposed to be white. Well, it's a little bit more off yellow. Oh, I, oh I yeah. Cubone's so backstory. Cute. But I've seen Cubone fan art where they, he uses other skulls instead of his mother's and they look really badass. Yeah. When it's using another skull, that, that would actually be a cool idea for them to do as a I variation. I do have a shiny uh, Vaporeon plushie, which I'll probably bring out if I can find it on Monday. Yeah, we're, we're not going to do too much right now. We're actually... We're just chilling. going longer than we thought it would. Yeah, we were just going to open up these guys, chill, and but you guys popped on and we love chatting we with you. We do love talking to y'all, so long as y'all keep it clean and don't try to troll us, we're all good. Oh, sweet! Yeah, I kind of went the wrong way with my Pokemon Let's Go. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, she went to the wrong gym first. <laughs> I did Sabrina before I did Koga. Oh, sweet! Oh, cool! Thank you for for following me. I do oh, live stream pretty much every night. As I said earlier, the only night this week I'm not going to be streaming is going to be Saturday because we're not going to be in town, so my PS4 is not going to be here. We might do a stream us. on the road, maybe. We, we might try to do a live stream while, while I'm driving, she'll be streaming. Yeah. Or maybe recording me or whatever. Uh, we are going to be driving to Mississippi. Uh, visit my grandfather out there. Uh, so we will be going through Louisiana, which she's never been. Yeah. I've only been as far east as Florida, and that was in a plane. Plane. I haven't driven that far east. The furthest east I've driven is to Tyler, Texas. Mm. And that's for, that was a summer camp there. Oh, now I'm getting sleepy now. <laughs> <laughs> it's too early yet. I, I know that. Most what time night. is it anyways? It's only... My phone charging. Oh, and we've actually—I just got a new subscriber update. Sweet, Sweet. Thank, thank you. you. Woohoo! Yeah, road trip. Yes, we, we will be doing. We're gonna hopefully do a road trip video. We're also hitting up. Uh, oh wow, Bucky's. it's actually se after seven o'clock. Bucky's is one of my favorite places to go it's to during a road only trip. Only in Texas. Oh, sweet. 
Well, we're going, our trip is going, as I said before, we're going to Mississippi. Uh, we're heading for- Sweet! Oh, I'm getting more followers and everything. Sweet. Hell yeah. But we will be, we're going to take a trip to Bucky's, which is mm -hmm. a really nice. Uh, it's one of the largest gas station stops that I've ever seen. It has a huge souvenir section. It also has legendarily clean bathrooms. Oh yeah, you are not, I, we are not kidding about that. Spotless. And the, the privacy of the restrooms is, so is nice. awesome. Uh, for those that are shy or don't like the possibility of somebody walking in on them, the doors lock really well. They have, they're very, they're worth it. They're worth going to if you if you live in low. Texas, which is pretty much Texas and where was it? Where else was it? We saw uh, Alabama Wait. or was it Georgia? Uh, uh, Georgia, uh, no Alabama, very close to the Alabama uh, mm -hmm. Florida border. Right. So, That's the first one they've opened up out of Texas. Yeah, it was. And there are some that are almost in Oklahoma. I got coworkers saying that, no, they have them up, up in, in the uh, New England area. They don't. No. I can assure you they don't. We went to their website. We confirmed with them. The official website stated, nope. Blackpool. So I, are you I, over in uh, the UK area or England? I, yeah. that, that sounds like that area. I don't know where that is. It could be here. I wouldn't be surprised if we had some cities named that. We yeah. have some weird towns with weird names here. Like Truth and Consequences, New Mexico. Yeah, got some weird names out here too, but... Oh, oh nice! Okay, cool. Nice. Hopefully it's not too late over there for you. <laughs> or too early, seven, whichever it is. So they're six hours ahead of us. Yeah, so it's, uh, means, it's getting late. What, seven hours? Seven, it's so... About, it's in the morning. 30 a.m.? No, that's eight hours, six hours, so... Six hours, about midnight. About midnight, yeah. Okay. Okay. We like the cold, or at least we, I like we, I don't cold. mind the cold too much, so long as I put a couple layers on. I work in the cold, for crying out loud, in the meat As market. do I. I work in the bakery, and we're... We're always... I'm always cold. I always oh, have a hoodie or two. Well... I also collect hoodies, so... Yes. We do appreciate you guys Thank coming you. on the stream. Thank you very much. Uh, we're actually gonna have to end it here in a second because we do need to get some other things done. I gotta get packing. I she has to like get packed. Full. I'm I, already packed because we don't live together. I um, had a 12-hour shift yesterday, and then I had to quickly go to a painting class because I had a gift card that was gonna go expire mm -hmm. before. Yep. Uh, Although her painting skills are really good, uh, if you want to go ahead and show that off. Yeah, why not? Let me uh, grab it. You guys are about to see. I mean, compared to my little corgi, did I take that home? No, you left it here. Oh yeah, I left it here. My corgi looks kind of bad compared to hers and what she can do. She paints better than me. I'm more of a sketch artist. But as you guys can see, she's actually really good. <laughs> and I, I'm quite quite proud of the work that she does this on her stuff. This will be sent to my mama who doesn't live in state. It's out in New Mexico? Yeah. Area? Yeah. Okay, this goes back up. Yep. But yeah, we will have to end the stream soon because I gotta get packing. I gotta figure out what I'm wearing. Right. Got probably do a little laundry because I'm probably gonna wear this outfit tomorrow when I right. need to change. Because this is a nice, comfy driving outfit. What'd you think? Ah, uh, the most Pokemon games I've we've played. I have played pretty much every single one. The only ones I stopped for originally was for the. Um, I didn't play Sun and Moon or Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. I don't have a 3DS. I have a 3DS. I ha I've played Black, White. The only ones that took me a long time to get a hold of was Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. I started with Emerald on that one. Let's um, see. I've done Red. Oh wow! Wow! <laughs> I I don't have a 3DS. I. Wasn't really interested in Sun and Moon. It's not like it's a bad game. I love like like the variations of the Pokemon. And... The game is okay. The anime we can't get our we just can't do it. But uh, let's see. I've completed Red. Mm -hmm. I completed Silver. No, not Silver. Gold. I didn't have Silver. I wanted Silver, but I got Gold instead. I, had, I started with Yellow. Somehow I ended up with two Gold cards. I still have the two cards. I don't know how I got that. I did Crystal for a while, but I had a. A friend lent it to me and I had to give it back. Then after that, I wasn't up, currently up to date with any of the handhelds, so then I got an SP and I did, I think it 
think I did. What was on SP for that one? Uh, it was anything for the Game Boy Advance. So, so everything after uh, gold and silver, I think, was on the deep, on the Game Boy Advance. So that would have been... Wasn't it Ruby? Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald. Yeah, I had Ruby. And then it went to... DS. The DS, which was... I... Why? I actually played X. Uh, I played... And I do have uh, Soul Silver. I played all of them. Uh, Pokemon Ranger series. That one was actually pretty cool. It was really... Yes. That was actually another one that came out. That was when the DS was oh, released. Yeah. They did Pokemon Ranger because the Stylers... Wanna... Yes. The, or the Pokemon Styler. Which was kind of cool. It was a cool concept. I wanted, I wanted to play Pokemon Dungeons, but I never got a chance to. The storyline is quite interesting. Um, I don't. We don't play music here, uh, sadly. I, I wish. I'm not very good. I used to play trumpet in a band. I do have a guitar. I play at the guitar. I'm not very good. I can I do can a sing little. Sing a bit, but it doesn't mean I'll sing yeah. here. No, we're probably because everything be gets practically copyright claim because yeah. YouTube's a joke at this point in time. Yeah, they. they, they a couple are... a while back, we were doing. Oh, art. Oh yes, I I do paint, but I don't. I haven't done it on YouTube yet. Yeah, we do love doing all kinds of things. So um, I might, I I he got me a replica or at least a wooden kind of a wooden version of Crescent Rose from guys, Ruby. Yes, if you guys watch the show Ruby uh, by Rooster Teeth, it, if you haven't checked it out, you might want to. It's actually pretty darn cool. So I got um, a wooden replica of mm -hmm. Crescent Rose. Not the best one. I gotta tweak it a bit. It needs yeah. some. It needs some TLC and some paint. Yeah. So I will be repainting that. Ooh. I have gotten quite a bit. I have caught a lot of legendaries. Pretty much every legendary in every game I've caught. The only one I didn't catch was uh, Raikou. Oh, good. Yes. Good. I'm, so, uh, we're... We, we got stuck on season two. <laughs> we, we haven't watched season three because we know what happens to Pyrrha in season three and we don't want to see it. Or at least that's, that was my reason. Well, I'll be cosplaying as Christmas Ruby. I got yes. everything set up. And of course, by the same creators of Ruby, you have Red versus, Red versus Blue. Blue. And I will be cosplaying. I'm sure. I will be cosplaying as Vacation Caboose. Well, summer, summer Vacation, vacation Caboose. caboose. But, so, yeah, we are looking forward to that. Which uh, will be probably in August when we hit Anime Fest. Yes. Which we'll gladly upload to the channel, a live stream, if they allow us. If, if they allow it, we'll do it. We'll record a couple videos while we're there. Plus, I, as she keeps on saying, a lot of people keep, that know the the character Caboose, they say I can do a good impersonation of him. Go for it. I don't like doing it on the spot though, but I here's the thing is I do it when I. If oh, you there's guys, six seasons now. Oh yeah. They just finished season six. If you guys want to hear me do my Caboose voice, sometimes watch my live streams at night because if I'm if I am running away from an enemy, I will straight up do Caboose's running when he's running away. Running, running, running. There it is. <laughs> he also, we also quote Rooster Teeth. We Ruby, do. We love quoting them. We Disney also quote Disney a lot, uh, especially Mulan. For some reason. M well, it's because of how many times I miss. You are so yeah. My aim sucks at on some games, especially FPSs. I oh, still that would be really cool to, to do as go as Crow. You are trying to see if a. Uh... Yeah, that'd be a cool one to do. We're we're uh, even though what happened with the previous voice actor is unfortunate. We have a possible theory of who the new voice actor is. And we're hoping. We're really hoping it hoping. is who we think it is because a certain YouTuber that we know of mentioned it that he was mentioned that he had just gone to see Rooster Teeth and, in Austin and then he come in back Austin, and got and sick. And he come back and got sick. Well, because um, airplanes are nothing but they're cesspools. Yeah. They are petri dishes on with wings. I got sick my way back from Disney World. Many Good thing years I have one hell of an immune system. Yeah. My it's hard to get, make me sick, really. It really is. But we might try out our cosplays on Halloween next, this upcoming year, too. Yeah, we might do that. Um, I still have to find the shirt that I wanted to use. Um, we'll, we'll let you guys try to figure that one out for yourselves and theorize. He's a bigger... He's a much bigger YouTuber than we are. Shoot, we're probably not even a blip. We're barely even a blip. We're getting there. We're an echo. <laughs> <laughs> if that... <laughs> We're trying. We're, we're trying to get bigger, and we do appreciate those that subscribe to us and let, like our content. We do try to do live streams like this every now and then, at least once a week. That way we can, you know, talk to you guys and Have hang fun. out. Have um, 
We did, the, I took off for a short period of time. I took the little chat bar, as you can see over here, off the streams because we had somebody try to tr or trolling us. And that could also and risk it, it, it was our a channel. possible risk of us losing our channel. So. Luckily, nothing has happened like that. No, it's not him. It's not PewDiePie. Uh, no, no, no. No, oh, no, no. No. I don't think he could do that. No, he couldn't pull off Crow. I don't think so. Um, oh, yeah, we do. We also croak Lilo and Stitch. Yes, he we does, do. He does do a good Stitch I voice. Do, but I also do a good Smeagol. Yeah, but and Stitch if, and Smeagol are quite They are close. very similar. And so is Giyomon. Yes. If you watch D Digimon Tamers. Season... Is that Digimon Season That's, 3? Season 3 is Digimon Tamers. Um, we're, yes, we're quoting... We're, we're telling you guys how old we are. <laughs> We are kind of old. We're on the older side, as you can, if you guys can see the number of silver hairs I got going, you, you know. Um, anyway. Age is just a number. It is. We do enjoy doing this for you guys, and we'd like being able to talk to you, so if you guys keep it clean, we'll keep it up there. Yep. But uh, as far as the. Let's see. I'll quote whatever I feel like quoting. Yep. I may not sound good at it, but I will quote it. You'll see me in the chat bar making stupid jokes all the time when yeah, I'm not with him when, and I'm at home. When she's chatting with me and I'm the one streaming. Sans. Hmm. Sans. Are you talking about Undertale? Because that's a, that'd be a cool one to pull off. I've seen it done. Yeah, I've, I've seen some people cosplay as him. That's a good one. True. It's up to you on that one, really. True. Hmm. That's a pretty cool idea, too. You know what would be cool, cosplay to see? Hmm. A Grim. That would be an awesome one, but which Grim? Oh. A Beowulf would be kind of cool. Oh, what about an uh, Ursa? Ursa would be another option. That's just straight up black suit, or black body suit, and then the, the, the head and a few spikes would be for the... Yeah, well, white and red spikes. White and red spikes, so it's it'd be uh, it's doable. I mean, look at all the other cosplays that they've done. Shoot. Mm -hmm. We're still kind of new to cosplaying. We are. We're very, we're very much novices. We don't make anything of our own yet. Uh, we do have ideas, and we want to eventually do like Halo armor, so I can do a full body caboose, or my own character, my own original uh, Red vs. Blue character. Same here. We actually have some characters in, li in line for doing our... a couple skits down the road. We, once we are we get planning it eventually. More. We've already worked out how the characters are going to work to a degree. Nice. We I've celebrated Halloween since since I was born. Yeah, same here. I kind of had to. <laughs> my mom tells me the first time that my first Halloween I was dressed as Charlie Chaplin. Interesting. Interesting choice, right? Yeah, I was a uh, oh. Oh, Diaboromon. Oh, that's a hard I was one. Supposed to be Diablomon, but they changed the they changed. Well, actually, the way they pronounced it, it does sound like Diaboromon, but it was actually Diablomon. Yeah, they mispronounced that. There was a mispronunciation in the translation from the the Japanese to the American. And the movie was... I honestly It wasn't don't... bad. It was actually kind of cool looking. Uh, yeah, the movie wasn't bad. It wasn't no. great for a movie. They could have done a whole lot better. They could have. The animation style was not bad. I just noticed they have, they actually inverted the pop heads. Yeah, I, I saw that right away. Hmm. I didn't look very hard. I was just looking <laughs> at the Eevee. Oh, it'd be cool if they had like a Gatamon or a Padamon or a... Or even their uh, their Digivolutions, Angemon and Angewoman. Oh yeah, but well, I'm saying about a like, Gatamon or, or a... I'm just saying, people that like cosplay, can co pull off cosplays like that are freaking awesome. They are. Uh, I have to say, I, I've seen some really awesome cosplays out there. And so, even if you don't have the right skin tone for the original character, that's fine. Eh, who cares? That's You're not having the, fun. It's, the whole point is having fun, guys. So if you are into cosplay like we are, even if you and if you do better than we do, go ahead. It's like send us a link down, or just like photos or something like that down in the description huh. below. It's gonna be excited. Freelancer, <laughs> ooh. Oh, from Red versus Blue. Well, that kind of goes into my uh, my OC character. <laughs> I uh. He, he is from Project Freelancer. And he's never mentioned before, but um. Because there's a lot of freelancers you they don't mention. You yeah, don't there are. See, and there's a lot of states. Mm-hmm. Uh, I did like... I do like Wash to a degree, but Carolina so far is... Texas is high up there, but I prefer her daughter, Carolina. I like York. Yeah, York... York and Wash. York and Wash was an interesting encounter. True. But the twins were good. I didn't actually see those episodes. Oh, no, you uh, the twins, North and South. Yes, that yeah, is Yeah, yeah, I did see that. 
and I felt so bad for was it South was the girl, right? Yeah. Yeah, I felt bad for North, but I also felt worse for South. She got the short on the stick. Oh, she did. But her personality was not the best either. No, it wasn't. She was very unstable to begin with. Yeah, so putting a uh, AI in her head would not have done very good. Yeah. Maybe if they put Delta in her head, that might have helped. True. Delta was so logical that it might have helped stabilize her. Down. Might have stabilized her a bit. Yeah, but he did well with York. Yeah, we love oh, Rooster yeah. Teeth stuff. We haven't watched all of the new seasons of Red vs. Blue yet. We're stuck on yeah. season... We just started season 16. Mm -hmm. It took forever to get me to watch some of the, the stuff because I was... I was kind of burnt out, to be honest. I had been watching it for a while. Hmm. Hmm. That doesn't sound familiar. No. Huh. But, uh... Stormtrooper. Ah. Uh, yeah, Stormtrooper's in full armor. Anybody can pull that off. I'm a little too, so too tall. Oh. Um, that's fine. I haven't, I haven't watched a single Avengers film at all. No, I've never watched that one. Uh, I... I already know what's happening in the new movie, so we don't care. Yeah, I don't really care. A lot of characters are gonna die. That's just that's just the way the MCU's going. I mean, right let's now. face it, some of them have been on way too long as is. I was a realist thinking that Robert Downey Jr. probably would probably end it in this film or another next yeah, film. Yeah, if it wasn't this film it'd be the next film. Same with Chris Evans, probably mm -hmm. one what was it what was another one? Um Who else has been there really, really long? Hmm. Eh, it doesn't matter. Doesn't really matter. We're not really worried about Avengers right now. Nah. We're more into interested in, in Pokemon. We, yeah, we are, are looking forward to Detect Detective Pikachu. We are. We're looking forward right. to that. We were planning on going to see Alita Battle Angel, but, but we kind of got distracted and sidetracked. And, and got busy. And we got work, busy. And didn't and then have I got time. Sick, and then, yeah. Yeah, it, it wound up not working out. Yeah, I mean, okay. that's not bad. Not a big deal. If you're trying to get a rise out of us, it's not going to work. If you've... Another thing is that actually, if you if you've seen anything about the new comics, there's a version of Captain America where he is brainwashed by Hydra. Yes. And he becomes evil. Evil. Not to mention, Captain America. Yeah. Not to mention, Captain America has gone through so many iterations and transformations from the original form that it doesn't surprise me. No, and not to mention, it has Captain America's title has passed to so many other superheroes. Yes. Yeah, you guys have to work. And same with Iron Man. Same with yeah. Thor. It's very Thor in his case. Spider Man. If you yeah, in the, into the into the Spider Verse. Yes, and that's a cool one that we haven't seen yet. We're getting it. We're gonna we're gonna see it eventually. Um, if you know anything about the uh, Norse mythology, Thor is not actually he is killed very easily, just like any mortal man. But he's reincarnated. He comes back in a new form. In fact, in the most recent comic version, he comes back in the body of a woman. And that's perfectly fine. It's just the way that Thor works. Yeah. Uh, now, there is also a uh, Avengers film that I did watch, an animated one, in which Thor is alive. He's yes. now the king of Asgard, but his we, daughter is there. We don't play Fortnite. No, we don't do Fortnite. We... I don't understand the phenomena with that. <sighs> it's not that I'm too old for it. I get it. I just... I don't even really when do I was battle... Younger, well... You go ahead. Yeah, even when I was younger, I never did those stupid Battle Royale games. Yeah, it's not my style. The only thing that was close was Mario Kart and maybe a little bit of Halo, and that's just because my brother had the game. Yeah, I would play some Halo every now and then. I played some GoldenEye, but I never owned them. My brother... And that was more just playing with friends kind of thing. Yeah, same with Mario Kart. And I don't really do the whole... I have done kind of a Battle Royale in Doom one time. Yeah, and that was we fun. wish we had recorded it because it was a really awesome run through where I was dominating the whole pack, which was freaking sweet. Um, and then, um, I mean, but that's more just straight up PvP or PV everyone. That's fine. I've done PvP and PVE and World of Warcraft mm -hmm. a long it's, time it's ago. Not that, it's not that. It was bad. not my forte. I prefer the lore. Yeah. Yeah, that's the kind of stuff we used to play. Um, 
We're probably gonna get Mario Kart 8 Deluxe eventually, or when the new Mario well, Kart comes the out. Next, Let's face the it, next there's, one. Gonna be, there's gonna be a nine. There's, you know, there's gonna be a nine. I mean, there's Mario Maker 2 coming out in June. Yeah, it I'm is. So getting that. And we are one. Of, well, she's gonna get it, and then she's gonna have me play it. And hopefully, if we get the capture card set up, we'll be able to record it for you guys. And you guys can watch me rage at the damn game, or whatever the hell she creates. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty good. I might be able to meet Ross from Game Grumps. Yeah, well, we'll see, little Missy. <laughs> well, remember, Ross is going to get an early copy from, the, oh, from Nintendo. Oh, yeah, You know they yeah, will. Yeah. And Aaron's giving him a month off to do whatever he freaking pleases. They're going to regret upset. that. They're going to totally regret that decision. You know they will. Shoot. Mark's probably going to be doing it, too, once he's feeling better. Right. I feel so sorry for him. That had to hurt. Yeah. If you guys don't know, or at least follow his channel, he's... Yeah, Mark okay. Markiplier, he is, uh, I watch him, I follow him. Yeah. Yeah, I always like, I like, I do the I like Rosalina. That's not a bad combo. I've actually done the, uh, the me character, my me character when I unlocked it on the Mario Kart for the Wii. Nice, yeah. Yeah, I haven't done that one before. I have a, I usually did, well, when I did a original Mario Kart, it was always mm -hmm. Yoshi, yeah. Always Yoshi. Always the lighter characters because we were racing. We didn't really do the battle so much. My, my rule was if we were in battle, I got Bowser. If we were in racing, I got Yoshi, Toad, or, or Peach. I always picked Yoshi even in the N64 one. Well, I only ever play, I only started Mario Kart in 64, so... I had a Super Nintendo, so I started it there. Yeah, we didn't... We kept skipping uh, systems. We'd go from... We went from the Nintendo to the N64 after our N original Nintendo broke. Then we went to the Wii. We actually did not get a GameCube. We went to uh, uh, regular Nintendo, Super Nintendo, yeah. Sega Genesis. That was my brother's. Mm -hmm. Though my mom played it more than he did. My dad sold my Genesis. Yeah, I know. Which irritated me and still bugs me. I've let I've I've forgiven him for it, but at the same time, it still bothers me that he sold it, along with the Sega Game Gear and all the games to them. Yeah. And I've been trying to get a hold of all the games I used to have. There's still one I'm missing. And then uh, after Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis, mm -hmm. we went to N64. Yep. Then we skipped to PS2. Yeah, I did the same thing. And then we got the Wii. Mm-hmm. And then I have an Xbox. No, my brother got an Xbox. Then he got, I think a 360, I don't know. He moved out. And then I got my Xbox One, and he has a PS4. Oh, I'm so sleepy. So I'm just sleepy. yawning. I'm fine. <laughs> but yeah, here. I know. I have an Xbox. He has a PS4. We really shouldn't get along. No, we. Per I don't really care. Me either. <laughs> oh, I forgot the handhelds. I, I had a Game Boy Color, and a Game Boy SP, and then um, a DSi. Welcome to the stream, guys. Hi there. Yeah, it's, it's kind of cool to do multiple consoles if you can afford it. Yeah. Because then you can play all the games. There is one game for uh, uh, Xbox that I have wanted to try to play, and that's Gears of War. It looked really cool. That's the only game I would have gotten an Xbox for. Whereas I have Horizon Zero Dawn for the PS4, and if you guys want to check out my playthroughs of that, go ahead. Please He's do. He's on hard mode. I'm doing the ultra hard mode, and I am dying a lot. Yeah, he died a lot last night. It was yeah. fun to watch. Yeah, you guys, if you want to watch me, it, you can see my expression at I put the chat bar back up on for that one, and it was just me. Oh man! And then uh, I'm playing Final Fantasy X, not on my Switch yet. I haven't gotten it for the Switch yet. Mm -hmm. I had a, I had a, some appliance issues, so I had to put the money towards getting a new dryer. Yeah, I have. I do have it on my PS4. I downloaded sure, it a long yeah. time ago. Yeah, I have. Well, yeah, we might replay it again for that one because. Mm -hmm. That one is my favorite Final Fantasy game, and I know all the secrets for that to, one. I need to finish up my playthrough of 15 for y'all, because yeah, we've been no putting idea. it off forever. Well, we have all those I'm, extra episodes, and then there's the new Arden episode. Yeah, they do. We, I'm so sad that they canceled mm -hmm. the episodes they were going to do. Yeah, they are going to do a... Uh, Luna Freya episodes. was going to have her episode. I think there was one more for uh, Nox. Yeah. And then one for Arden, and they just stuck with Arden. Yeah. I know they got to explain his past, but they really didn't have to. They kind of already did. Yeah, but it makes more sense now. Yeah, well, I, I have to play. I have to download episode Arden and then play it. Um, I did enjoy Final Fantasy XV. Uh, it was the only Final Fantasy game yet I've ever beaten. I've beaten Final Fantasy X and X too. I still have yet to beat Chrono uh, uh, Chrono Cross. 
I haven't played any of the zombie games much. Dead by Daylight is pretty good, though, from what I hear. Yeah, we'll probably try that one at per. Oh, The Surge! I just downloaded that one. So we're gonna. I'll be playing that one for you all eventually. It looked really cool. We. Let's see, we've done a couple of co op games too. We played a mm -hmm. Degrees of Separation. We did complete that one. Yeah, one of the few ones that we did complete. Yeah, we, we have a we have a very small number of games we've completed for you all so far. Uh, yeah. Which is why my current schedule has me playing certain games certain days, even though I call them certain genre of days. Hmm. Definitely Vulpix, but Eevee's a close second. If you're referring to Pokemon game, um, I don't have a favorite one because I love them all for what they are. True, but if I had to choose, I'd definitely go with Silver. Silver was gold. Soul, I did like Soul, Soul, Soul Silver. Silver a little better than regular Silver. Soul Silver, Soul, uh, Heart Gold, just because mm -hmm. the game, you could, there was a lot of post-game stuff you could do. Yeah, there was. So much more post-game stuff than any other Pokemon mm -hmm. games that they have out now. Oh, except for Let's Go, but Let's Go is kind of tedious after you beat the game. It is. It's, it's all about shiny hunting at that point. And grinding. Yeah. You um, want to complete it. I'm not, I'm, to be going the Felician Mister out, I have not decided. Yeah, I haven't played Let's Go in a while. I have. I usually play it once a day. <sighs> Just because I want to, I kind of want to beat it, but I've already gotten my Eevee up to a... Probably more powerful than mine. <laughs> <laughs> I think mine's at level 44, 45. Yeah. Nice. I actually yes. have Xerneas, because I play, I play Pokemon X. And I did actually like Pokemon X, even though it was in the uh, Kalos region and they introduced all those fairy type Pokemon. That was kind of different. Um, I didn't play that because it has a, I had to have a 3DS and I don't have a 3DS. Yeah. And you didn't have to use a 3D feature on it, which is kind of nice. You just turn the slider bar off, you're good. Yeah. And then we might see about doing uh, some sort of randomizer. I've been looking into that. Mm -hmm. Maybe Ocarina Time mm -hmm. or some sort of Pokemon randomizer. There's also Mario 64 randomizer. Mm -hmm. We haven't decided. I gotta tinker with my laptop. Yeah, we'll, we'll figure something out there. I gotta see if I can't fix FNAF first. I'm having issues with FNAF. Yeah, and whenever it comes out for the VR, the PlayStation VR, we will be getting that. And you guys are gonna watch my stupid butt play it. Which, if we did earlier today, we tr tried a test video of the VR system. And she'll be uploading videos later of me playing the VR. And me goofing off. Well, the so if you want to watch them back to back and see how I look <laughs> playing this thing and how comical it can be, according to her, That's funny. please check. Once she uploads those, check it out. No, we're not. Because the camera doesn't work that way with us yet. But we will be getting it. it. The VR is pretty nice. The VR is very fun. We do have Beat Saber. We, I wish we could stream that, but because it is music-based, it's not a smart idea for us because we get copyright claim after every single. We had issues second. with Kingdom Hearts. We had it was bad enough with Kingdom Hearts, all those copyright claims. That's why we took all the videos down. They're still there. They're still on file. And then we also had claims with Uno. Yeah, that was a re that was the weird one. Uno was the weird one to get claimed on. And then degrees of separation. Oh yeah, Resident Evil in VR. I might try to get that one at some point. Uh, for now, though, I've got enough VR games to start out with. Um, I did start... I, I might be willing to play that one in VR. Yeah, VR would might be a little easier, but then you got to have the gun set up. Yeah, Disney's are, Disney... Uh, it's not just Disney in this case, because actually, so long as... What they said in the streaming agreement was that so long as you're not doing it for monetary gain, they didn't care. No. And we, we claimed... It was YouTube that claimed that one, not Disney. And we don't have monetization. We're not monetized, so... Yeah, we aren't big enough to have mods no, yet. No, we, we haven't been monetized yet at all. You have, you have to have over a thousand Yeah, subscribers I'm not sure I want to watch the Aladdin film. I think it was over a thousand subscribers and over four thousand minutes on your channel before you even ask for monetization. And even then, they still could deny it. Yeah, they could. I, they don't, they uh, didn't really need to make a blue. They really did not. They didn't need to, but they were trying... Part of it, they were trying to stick to the original... But they really should have just left it alone and not done a live action at all. True, the only one I'm curious about is Mulan, and that's just because I'm curious. That one I'm curious about because, you know, Mulan. Yeah, I was not gonna be rooting for Dumbo, so I wasn't even gonna try. I was like, really? Really? Yeah, they changed a lot of things that they didn't need to change. 
I know Dumbo's not the best, and it's not really PC anymore, but... Yeah. But yeah, we're actually gonna have to cut it here, guys. Yeah, because I gotta spent be way too long talking we, this time we, around. We, we were supposed to leave it half an hour ago. We, we were supposed to stop about half an hour, but you guys did pop on. We do appreciate you showing up and, and Cause, talking to cause, us. Because we had fun. We do have a lot of fun, and I... If, if you guys keep it clean for, my, for us and stop trying to troll us, I will keep this up here and allow you guys to keep chatting with me while I play games at night. And I do late night live streams here stateside. <laughs> yeah, we'll defeat the Huns soon. <laughs> yes, we will eventually defeat the Huns. <laughs> but we gotta get down to business and get we do. things ready for the we trip We need to tomorrow. get ready for our trip tomorrow. Plus we, are we gotta leaving. pay early. We do. We're, we're, we're leaving early tomorrow morning. Um, we'll probably start, if we do a live stream, we'll probably... They keep doing that, yeah. Yeah. They keep messing with things that they don't need to mess with. Yeah. But, but we, 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 we need to go, go guys. guys. We're sorry. We we're do sorry, need to stop. We're sorry. Please. Uh, we, we do appreciate it. If you guys do like our content, please, please like, like and subscribe, subscribe to us. Thank you for having fun. Thank you very much. And, and we'll uh, be back. We'll probably do a live stream on Monday. If not, I'll, we'll try to do or it on the... we may be doing a late night live stream when we get back from on Sunday. Yeah. Until then, guys, thank you very much for joining us. Bye. Bye.